Hey everybody, Logan here. Finally, finally got my hands on, well, one of them. Today I happen to see, well, Sonic and the Tails Realms Wireless Controller uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Edition for the Nintendo Switch. So these are the ones that actually have the little figure inside the controller. I saw the Tails one and I was like, oh, do they only have Tails? Uh, and then I saw the Sonic. I found these at Target today and I have not seen them anywhere else. Apparently GameStop is, from what the gentleman told me a number of weeks ago, they're going to be the exclusive carrier of the wired Knuckles version. But there are wired versions of these which are significantly cheaper. These are $60 a piece. That's a little pricey. Um, yeah, when I saw it, I was like, okay, I really want one. I'm hoping it's going to be meet my expectations. Let's put it that way. Hopefully it meets yours, especially for that price. Some people are saying they're just charging for the little figure. We'll see. But there are wired ones for, I think, $39 and wireless for 59 so a little hefty in price they also have a pikmin version as well and there's one for the uh xbox series xs but it's it, it's a bit different if i can get my hands on that one it's a wired only i'll do an unboxing and a, a testing and everything for that but right now we're going with the wireless sonic so think of it as this way whichever one you see is wireless this review will still cover it as well. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be any different in terms of functionality. It's just going to be what figure you get in there and the theme that's printed on the actual um, chip of the controller itself. So without any further ado, let's open this up, test it out, see if it's any good. see he, he ran in there like he was fast it's fast because he, he had to okay so here we go the realms wireless controller by pdp um wireless leds it's got lights sonic the hedgehog that's what it supposedly looks like as you can see the chip has it printed there's sonic you can see it from the back. There's artwork. There's some kind of texture here. Let's read what it says. Collectible figurine inside. I think it's funny how they say that because usually collectibles mean you can put it on a shelf. I don't think you can take out the figure and put that uh, standing by itself. Inside a multi-layer design designed for all day comfort and performance. Use ABXY to explore LED lighting effects. Oh, it's going to be one of those. 30 foot wireless range and rechargeable battery. The thing that bothers me, in, what does that say? One, one foot, one, one foot. That's useless. Okay. One thing that gets me, and I had the same issue with the previous uh, wave. Oh, okay. That's a useless window. One thing I had with the afterglow wave is there was no instructions with it and there was no instructions online after even scanning their QR. So that really bothered me. And I'm hoping this isn't the same. I'm hoping it works better out of the box. The afterglow wave is still nice. Once you get the hang of it, kind of figure it out yourself. Um, or you can just go back and watch my video. It's a little easier to use the xbox version is still the best because you can download an app this is going to be similar from how, what i'm assuming to the switch version of the afterglow wave that is a nice looking controller all right same thing but look at that i mean wait yeah we're we're going to that that is useless that is that is useless all right you can see the reflection of the light and my fan 
Maybe I should turn off the fan. Nope. But you can see it. You can see the entire back and how it's printed. I think that's pretty nice. So for everybody wondering, zero rumble. I don't see anything up here in terms of actuators for any kind of HD rumble. So I don't think there's any rumble at all. The box did not say any. I don't see anything. It is type C. There's your rechargeable battery. Besides the display piece, I'm already feeling a little negative on this. So they still have the plus and minus button, but that's usually for audio control for a headset. There's no headset. So I'm guessing they doubled with the D-pads. Every other PDP heads or controller I've purchased that is for headset volume. There's nothing there. So that makes me think. It still uses the standard sticks. You've got nothing up here, which I think they should have put the little Switch logo. You could see, yeah, I get it. Maybe engraved it or something. I still think it should have been there. You got your home button, your snapshot button. I'm guessing that is the, that's the sync button. I'm not sure what that is. And the fact that they don't usually put instructions in these anymore. They don't. And if it's anything like the Afterglow Wave, I'm hoping they've updated it. And we'll look at that in just a moment. I'll let you know. This, oh, there goes the light. Okay. So the lights are in the back. This is going to be an issue. We're going to have the same issue as we did with the Afterglow Wave. <sighs> okay, we're going to get into a little rant here. If you are buying this for a child or a very young adult, maybe a teenager, maybe early teens, tween, may not realize that they need to have a smartphone to understand how to use their brand new controller. Giving this to a 12 year old. 12 year olds for the most part may or may not have a cell phone. Maybe you're gonna have to set it up for them. That is where I think it becomes a serious pain in the butt. Having something that's definitely directed at youth or collectors when you don't have instructions in the box and you have to use a QR code to just even understand how to change the lights. So I'm pressing this. It says, okay, now it's doing that. It's looking, it's looking. I'm not sure what this button does. I'm going to hold it like the other one. Yes. Okay. Just baking an assumption off the Afterglow Wave. This is going to be the button in which you choose your lights. A, B, X, and Y. This makes it brighter. A makes it brighter. I don't know if you can see that. It really doesn't change. Y, I don't see anything happening besides it flashing. Um, not sure what B is doing. X makes it dim. So you can't change colors. It just lights up white. Very simple. I'm going to give it a shot and see if the D-pad, the D-pad does nothing. Shoulder buttons. I'm I'm sorry. It's just hold. It's hard to hold it, 
look at what I'm doing here and see the lights at the same time. So if it's a weird angle. So there you go. Let's see what the back of the box is. As you can see, I'm, I'm very unhappy with this, just in terms of functionality. 30-foot range. Use A, B, X, Y to explore LED lighting effects. Very general. All right. So we are going to pull my switch over here. As you can see, this is going to be, yes, for some of you already seeing this, you're like, wait, what? Yes, I got the game early. I've already done a short. I've already put it up. Yes, I, I did get the game early. I cannot show, as of right now, I cannot show any gameplay because I will get hit. Sega is very, very rough when it comes to copyright. So maybe as you're watching it, hey, the game's already out. But as the time this goes live, the game is not out. So we're going to play this. I thought I made this my... We still have to pair it. That is my mistake. So... There we go. The whole thing lights up when you hit that. Recognizes it as a pro controller, so we're good to go there. Um... There's input lag. There's input lag. Oh. It may not come across so well on the video. But when you're playing a game like Sonic the Hedgehog and it needs to be fast, you definitely notice the D-pad has input lag. Minute, very, very small amount of lag, but enough to make you go, that's not right. And that's rather frustrating to me. So... We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk a few uh, a few minutes about why I don't think you should buy this. Besides, if you're a Sonic the Hedgehog fan and you want to collect it, just right here, it feels like I think I want to say it's very similar to their Rock Candy line in terms of feel. Um, it feels cheap. It feels very cheap. It feels like I'm going to break it. Uh, yeah. There's no rumble, no NFC, no motion controls. You're paying for that. You're paying for that. You're paying for that. And those random lights back there that do almost nothing besides... I, I'm, I'm not even 100% sure... Okay, so the other mode, I don't know if you can see it, but when you're pressing a button, it just flashes when you press a button. That's all it does. That's that mode. And then that's just brighter and that's darker. Don't, don't buy this. Don't buy this. 
unless you just want to have a collector's controller, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm returning it. Um, I never thought I'd say that about a PDP accessory because usually they're fairly priced. And even with the cool functionality, this is not worth the $60. I will definitely, definitely be returning this. Uh, I'm going to have to tell you no. This is a no-go. Unless, and then the clear, you're, you're going to get your, your hand. Yeah, don't buy this. Not worth it. I'm going to end the video there. If you guys have any questions about it, uh, drop it in the comments below. I, I don't plan on keeping this. So if you're, if you're watching this after, way after the game comes out, uh, if you're going to ask me how has it been in the long run, I don't know. I do not know because I am returning this. I'm going to say don't buy it. I am going to try to pick up the wired one, test the wired one, and see because wired controllers have almost no lag. Zero to no lag. Zero to yeah, almost no lag at all. And if I can't even play this with no lag on a Sonic game, I'm not even going to bother playing it with anything else, much less um, a shooter or smash or a racing game. If I can't even get something like this, okay, calm down. This has got me irked. We'll say it at that. Don't buy this. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you have any questions that I can answer, drop them in the comments section below. Don't waste your money. Don't waste 60 bucks. If you can get it for dirt cheap, uh, there you go, but that's the definitive, my opinion on this wireless, uh, controller, $60, not worth. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.